remember it at like super last minute that the only four by three layout I have is the Smashter Pieces layout. So I hope everyone's okay with some black bars. But it has been just about a year since I played Ocarina of Time for Smashter Pieces. Uh, and as I demonstrated at the time, I know the game pretty well. Uh, I know parts of it inside and out. So, what happens when we flip the, flip the script and do it a little differently? Well, we're about to find out. Stretch the game to 16 by 9, it's fine. I think, that, I think that's a concession I'm not willing to make, but this should do nicely for now. So, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. I truthfully don't know how it took me so long just to uh, actually get around to this game, because I do have the disc. I have the original GameCube disc, and I have had that since I was a kid. And I am not totally certain why I never really went into it. So much time with this one, I got it with Wind Waker. That's, you know, that's honestly probably why I never really played it, because it... I was playing Wind Waker. So... I know the reg the regular Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time extraordinarily well. And now, for the first time ever, we're going into it differently. Uh... Am I gonna be boring and just go with Link? Because I can't really... I don't know. I haven't... I don't have anything else that I've thought of, so... This is pro It's probably just gonna be Link. And it's still got an unskippable opening cutscene. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. All characters should have master in front of their names just to remind you. <laughs> so this is going to be like a really interesting thing from a streaming perspective because like the overworld isn't changed, it's just the dungeons. So there's gonna be like this crazy sine wave curve where like there's there's one minute where I know the game inside and out and I'm doing everything like super efficiently. And then there's gonna, gonna swerve right into I don't know what I'm doing and I'm slowing down to figure out puzzles. I don't know if I've ever had an experience that's quite like that where it goes back and forth. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. So a very familiar opening now. One that I've seen God knows how many times. And uh, does not really change each time. Let's turn up the audio just a little bit. I think we can afford to make it a bit louder. Hello. 
this is also the first time that I've played the game in surround sound. Did you know that Ocarina of Time has native surround sound? Like, it's, it's right there in the game menu. Is there like a lot of background noise coming through my mic? Or is it just like the game that's being picked up at the same time as the capture card? Hello. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Sweet fake 5 5.1. That wasn't the N64 version too. Uh, people think surround sounds a lot newer than it actually is, uh, but it's from like the 40s. So it's 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 not it's not new technology, and a lot of old games have it. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your, your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Dolby wasn't just a fancy logo at the time. Even the VC version supports surround sound, they do. That is correct. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. And I think I think that's really cool. You know, um... Like, I like surround sound a lot. Uh, suppose if you make it work on a GameCube, it can work on a, on a Nintendo 64, yeah. Um, and I believe a lot of broadcast television at the time was also in surround sound. And of course, people had home theaters for movies and stuff, because movies have been surround sound for a very long time. Uh, Disney's Fantasia was the first, I believe. Okay, so, like I said, uh, I know my way around Ocarina of Time a little bit, and the overworld has not been changed. Only the dungeons have been changed. So, we- oh! I got my windows open, because the weather's nice, and, uh... Very windy tonight, so if I abruptly get up uh, and you hear some noise, it's me scrambling to close the windows because the weather's getting windy. Uh, what was I saying? Disney's Fantasia, I believe, was the first movie to ever have surround sound. And I, they called it, like, they call it something crazy in Disney, like, yeah, Disney's sound magic or whatever. But, um... You know, people had their home theater systems with surround sound at the time, and it's n truthfully not hard to put surround sound into a video game, as long as the as long as the technology exists, because a lot of it is just directional audio. Called Fanta Sound. That sounds about right. Oh, sometimes I forget with the uh, N64 version just how long it takes for the text to scroll. Like, it is slow. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use save warps a lot either, because save warping takes a lot longer on the GameCube Master Quest disc, uh, because it has this menu shell that it has to go out to, uh, and then it takes a while to load the game. So, we can't really save warp. So that's going to suck, because uh, save warping is something that I am a big fan of. I'm also not super, super accustomed to, like, the, this particular version. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is some of the best surround sound on Switch. It's a 3DS port. I have not played Generations Ultimate. I have, uh, I think Rise has surround sound, though. Uh, one of these days, I'm gonna make, like, a whole thing about sur about surround sound in Nintendo games. Uh, where am I? Why am I over here? I'm trying to get rupees for the shield. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, like, a whole thing about surround sound in Nintendo games. Because I'm really mad about Hyrule Warriors. Does GameCube have PCS? I I'm not 100% sure. Because Master Quest did come out after the, like, every N64 version. Uh... So I don't know. We're gonna have to test it. And unfortunately, the first thing we can test it on is Goma. 
So, that'll be fun. Uh, video being in stereo because of YouTube. Yes, so I need to solve how that's going to work. I think what I'm going to do is my capture card is capable of, of capturing surround sound. So what I might do is just to demonstrate it, mm, I might, like, display some parts. Uh, so I, I'm, I might, like, actually remove the left and the left and right stereo channels for the sake of, like, here's what's playing in the center and surround channels. But that's kind of weird. It's it's weird because I don't know how to present surround sound in a stereo format in a way that really makes a lot of sense. And it's like my my main beat is like I'm just kind of mad at how bad Nintendo is with surround sound. Like Hyrule Warriors is like the big one that like really upsets me because Hyrule Warriors on Wii U had surround sound support that was pretty good. Hyrule Warriors on Switch does not because the Switch version of Hyrule Warriors is based on the 3DS version. Uh, you can I'll, you can kind of see this in the graphics at some points too, um, but the the result is that there's no surround sound because they didn't bother making surround sound for the 3DS version. So that's nice. Um, but it's basically just been me being mad about that for like three years. Smash Brothers doesn't have surround sound either, and I don't think the fact that it's a fighting game is a good excuse, because Soul Calibur has surround sound. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? Yeah, okay. I guess we can... Can we test PCS on the Prana Plant? No, Prana Plant. Dekubabas? I don't know how many hits they take. I think they only take one hit. So we can't test it on them. I don't think we can test it on the scrubs. I think the only thing in Kokiri Forest that takes more than one hit is Goma. So we're not gonna know until we fight Goma. Great Deku Tree! I'm back! If you're vision impaired, most of the audio description that's available is just in stereo. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yes. Then enter, brave Link. And thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, used, use the up C button to listen well to her words of wisdom. Okay, so for those who don't know, fastest way to walk in Legend of Zelda is this backwards walk. Hey. At least in Ocarina of Time, but I think in Majora's Mask. I hope that Navi's tutorials are turned down in Master Quest. Okay, so... This is where things get unfamiliar for me. Why is there a torch here? I don't know. I assume... Oh my god, Navi. I assume that we're not gonna be jumping down from above like in the regular game. And that instead we're going to have to use a Deku stick to burn this. That seems natural. I need Deku nuts though. Like, like legit. There's no Deku Bob is here to give Deku nuts. Am I gonna have to go to, uh, gotta love torches on this playthrough? Am I gonna have to go back to the shop and buy them? Because Deku nuts are so much better than people realize, I think. 
Okay, let's get those sticks on. Like, Deku Nuts do everything. I don't think the keys were in the Deku Tree in the original. Most dungeons have backtracking with future items. Ooh, a Goma Larva right here. Interesting. This is where the map was in vanilla. I wonder if it's going to be here as well in Master Quest. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Navi. Uh, you know, I wasn't trying to do anything there or, or whatever. Oh, these things take more than one hit. So I can test the power crouch stab on them. Gold skulls also take more than one hit. Power crouch stab confirmed, baby! We have power crouch stab. Okay, so. Oh, those cowards. They took the skull waltulas off, even though. Just, just because you actually have to climb, they took off the Skull Waltulas. So you can actually, if you don't know, you, the Skull Waltulas, you can get past them without the slingshot in the regular game. Uh, all you have to do is just kind of like, not move when they're looking at you. Because they'll only go after you when they're looking at you. And only if you're moving. Please, I want a Deku, I want a Deku Nut, please. Finally. It's only one Deku Nut, though. Gonna need more. 80. Oh my god. Uh, so the thing about Skyward Sword being remastered is that I really hope they tone down Fi. But they didn't tone down Navi in Master Quest, so... Uh, let's take care of a couple of these Goma Larva. Interesting. I very rarely actually fight the Goma Larva, so I don't really know how they work. Oh, this guy takes two hits? I should be power crouched out here. Whoops. Uh, I tried to pause the game. It didn't work. As you can see. Uh, that's the thing about the GameCube version. It uh, is prone to this happening a little bit. So, uh, gonna have to deal with that. So, give me a minute to deal with that. This is, uh, hopefully not going to take too long. And that, oh god. If that keeps happening, then uh, we might have to find an alternative solution. Uh, I would hate to, like, just end the stream right now but if if this doesn't work we well, we might have to i might have to try different hardware and then go for a do-over on uh when was the last time i saved jesus go for a do-over on maybe saturday Dig up that 3DS. Well, I haven't figured out how to stream from 3DS successfully yet. That's the problem. Uh, you guys may have seen my attempted Star Fox 64 3D stream. Uh, didn't work out properly, so... Don't know if we've got the option to th stream for 3DS. Oops, hold on. Gotta fix something. Capture card is acting up a little bit. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, hmm. So it looks like it did not successfully save. Because that is the... Uh, that is the save file that I erased earlier. Well, then. So, if it crashes again, what we're gonna have to do is we are going to have to, um, if it crashes again, what we're gonna have to do is postpone the stream until Saturday, and I'll, fi I'll like, find an alternative way to make this work. Uh, I would hate to, uh, I would hate to have to reschedule the stream now. Now that we're like some f 25 minutes in or something, but unfortunately, sometimes we just got to do what we got to do. More puzzle league <laughs> wouldn't be the worst idea. But unfortunately, I don't have public league set up right now. Uh, what would I stream? Uh, well, the game crashed, so we had to start over. So, uh, by definition, you didn't miss anything. Uh, we might, we might. I don't want to reschedule the stream, but if it crashes again, we will have to reschedule the stream, and I'll find an alternative way to do things, uh, and then it'll probably go on Saturday, but what would I stream for now? I'm just like, kind of... I don't really have anything on Switch to stream right now. Maybe just say fuck it and stream something on PS5. I haven't gotten to start Nier yet, so... Maybe I should just play Nier. Wait, what am I saying? Pokemon Snap just came out and I've barely played it. I can stream that. Ninety-two percent chance you were dreaming. Crashes again. Uh, I would love to do randomizers, but un unfortunately, that's not really something I can do on the NWR account. Uh, so here's more or less a parody of Ocarina of Time, anyway. Solitude Slicer, thank you for the subscription. For six months in advance. Jesus. Please do not perceive me. Thanks, okay. Then, uh, I did not see anything. I mean, if you, wa if you wanna- if you wanna do a subscription without being perceived, you can just do it when the stream's offline. Uh... Yeah, thinking through it in my head, I know what to do if the game crashes and we have to we have to use different hardware again but it's not something i would be able to set up right here and now hello so don't worry master quest is happening one way or another you can't escape me either like I've had the I've had the master quest disc since I was a kid just grind Kingdom Hearts forever oh man I kind of do have to do that don't I because Joe's going to expect me to 
I have a review game I'm behind on, though, so I kind of need to play that a lot more than anything else. Okay. Let's save right off the bat. Am I under embargo, though? Well, I can't- I can't- I mean, my most recent preview was Shin Megami Tensei 3, not, uh, HD. So you can probably- you can probably make some point A to point B, but I cannot stream it. Uh, I'm not allowed to stream that game until it is already out, so. But if it's a choice between the, the like, working on my review game and grinding in Chain of Memories, I think it's pretty clear which one I'd rather do. Come on, text is so slow. Okay, that happens sometimes. But hey, uh, we have more viewers now than we did before we crashed, so that's good. <laughs> Tuning in to see if you crash again. <laughs> Mm, I can hear the surround sound. I love it. I can, like, hear the waterfall behind me. Imagine if I had surround sound as a kid. My life would have been changed. So, the game crashed and I tried to save, so I'm not sure if I should save often or save rarely. When you're playing uh, actual Ocarina of Time, man, Midas has is useless. I didn't equip the sword yet. Should probably do that. It didn't crash until I saved in a dungeon, though. Maybe that's the key. Yeah, come on, dude. I forgot how much the 3DS version, like, made the text not suck. <laughs> like, god, characters talk forever on the N64 version. In the timeline where Mido didn't steal the Megaton hammer and the hover boots. What a timeline it is. Come on. One more. One more. One more. No, oh, oh my god. Who... Who decided to make text unskippable like this? Oh no, it didn't crash when we saved, it crashed when we paused at all. That's going to be a problem. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. Okay. So, we're almost there. 
Just one super long cutscene with the Deku Tree. And talking to Mido. See, the worst part is that, like, you can't skip dialogue until the, di the dialogue gets repeated. So, like, once it actually lets you skip his dialogue in this conversation, then that's just the stuff that he says to you when you talk to him afterwards anyway. And boy, it's just frustrating. Alright, let's get some Deku Sticks. We're gonna need those. All right, we're almost free. So how y'all doing tonight? Only text you, X you can skip is the owls, which you then accidentally asked to hear all again. Yep. Only repeatable text is skippable. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I would much prefer it to be different. here in the Deku Tree again. sticks. I need Deku nuts. I need pictures of Spider-Man. Can't sneak up on me. Oh, Navi. I wish I didn't have to listen. Let's get the dungeon map again. At least there aren't unskippable tutorials. I mean, that's kind of what, uh... That's kind of what everything Navi says is. What it's worth. At least Power Crouch Stab is in this version. Like, what What would I do without Power Crouch Stab? Navi just wants to be your friend? Well, friends aren't so needy and naggy now, are they? Friends respect my time. Now, is is it? It's just the uh, it's just the dungeon skulls, though, right? All the others are in the same spot. Okay, just the dungeons. I mean, I rarely got those anyway, to be honest. Would I be able to just skip this room by grabbing a torch and jumping down? What's in this room? Oh, whatever it is, it wants me to get the torch first. So I'll do that. Oh, I don't know if Grudo Training Ground changes at all. 
That, I'm not actually sure about that. It's gonna be interesting to find out. So it's just a bunch of Goma larva so far. I guess the Deku Tree is not a dungeon you can really do a lot with. In all honesty. Oh, I haven't set the switch itself. Yeah, sure, sure. Alright, rush that. I assume that uh, later dungeons will be a bit crazier because the basic layout of the Deku Tree is. I mean, it's it, it, it's pretty much a straight line. There's really nothing you could change about it substantially. So we're still going to be going in mostly the same order. Are you a master? We're about to find out. I'm guessing I have to kill all the Goma larvae to get out. Is, is he invincible to PCS? I don't understand. I guess it's because I'm not, like, aiming properly for his eye. Okay, this is gonna be the slingshot, I'm assuming, or the compass. Yeah, this is the compass. Okay, so my thought about grabbing the torch and then jumping down is actually what you're supposed to do then. Interesting. That's very interesting. Oh no, there was that part further down. Wasn't there? Oh, slingshot. Okay. to the compass. GameCube Master Quest dungeons are all newly laid out. Yes. The overworld is the same. So dungeons are all going to be new to me. And we're going and we're going to be blazing through the overworld the same as I ever did. Torch? Probably. Oh, that one's lit now. Huh. I don't think slingshot seeds can carry flame like, uh, like arrows can. Uh, no, uh, Master, I don't think Master Quest came out for 64 DD. Um, I'm pretty sure the 64 DD was, like, already a failure by the time Ocarina of Time came out. Oh, no, wait. So when, when did this one turn on? When did this torch turn on? I don't remember turning that one on. I'm a little confused. But, whatever. can at least grab this, hop over, and open this. This is where the compass is going to be. Uh, first we got to beat the scrub. Then this is where the compass is going to be. Oh, giant deck bow. Ah, low on health. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's so weird that I can't seem to hit this guy with power crowd step. Got Deku seeds. I think people mistakenly believe that uh, Master Quest was Una Zelda, but that's not really the case to my understanding. Oh, rupees, we don't need them. Compass. Alright, let's see if the chest up here is still worthless. If there even is one. I see. I understand. Basement now. So looks like this chest is still here, but does this uh, does this switch still? No, that switch must open it. Still gonna be a worthless chest. It is. There's a business scrub in the Deku tree. What's he selling? scrub now. So he's not here to tell us anything. So unfortunately, I do know that the 231 has been changed. So you're not going to get a reaction out of me for that one. Oh, that was really lucky. I don't remember what it's been changed to. So there's going to be some trial and error. But you're not going to hear me go, whoa, what? They changed it? Do, do torches persist through rooms? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Cool. Hey, can you still just skip this room? Something needs to go on that switch. Weird to see the block of time, but okay. Let's see. What is the solution here? I guess I need to carry another, uh... Wait. I 
was gonna duck under that. I'm guessing. He wants me to do this again. No, evidently not. Am I supposed to... Well, I guess I should see what this does, shouldn't I? Okay, but that's a weighted chest. But can I just... Sells your shield in case one of the keys becomes a fire keys and burns your shield. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I can just do this. Uh, that's why they lowered this. But if your shield burns, you can just leave. Right? You can just go back to the just go back to the Deku shop, the Kokiri shop. Oh my god, the cutscene's gonna take so long and we're gonna miss the thing. I hate that. It doesn't have to be a cutscene. I'm gonna miss the thing again! shop when you have a perfectly good scrub shave shop right there because you're gonna scam me yeah I'm already starting to see how these torches are gonna be uh persistent oh damn it I didn't mean to waste that C buttons being on a stick instead of a button is kind of bad Stick with zero dead zone, yeah. Okay, let's investigate. Is this a kill all enemies room? Yes, it is. Which Star Trek actor lives in the Deku tree? Double damage on 3DS makes this more interesting. I do agree. Um, there's just it's I just don't have a way to stream 3DS, so I can't I can't really do that. I would prefer to have the double damage, but me playing like an idiot is probably gonna be enough. Wait, that's a foreign no puns. That's cursed. That's terrifying. Hmm. I don't like any of any of this. 
And I can't get that skull right now anyway without the boomerang. 3DS Master Quest version is flipped. That I don't really like, but it's not really a problem. Like the, the obvious biggest reason I can't I can't play the 3DS version is that it's just fuck. There's not really a way for me to stream it. I will not uh, accept water temple hate in this house. These graves are ominous. Okay, well, no roll. It did, I think I've heard that they made it easier, which is disappointing. Should I, like, move these graves? Can I move these graves? No, I don't think I can move these graves. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're so used to the Shadow Temple being brain-dead easy. I don't know, I... I, I crap on the Shadow Temple a lot, but like, ma like maybe it was it was less it was less easy when we didn't really have a frame of reference for 3D adventure games like we do now. Because like it, maybe the stuff that's obvious wasn't so obvious when there just wasn't a game that was already doing it. All right, what do you got for me? A Deku shield. I don't. Fifty. That's a scam. Get out of here. You don't have to shoot ice arrows to create platforms in this game. Oh my god. I almost wish I did, so that then the ice arrows would do something. Like, imagine if you got to Ganon's castle and then you had to use an ice arrow. That'd be kind of crazy. Actually, I would like that a lot. Hell of a twist. All right, I can already see how this torch run's gonna be harder. No, oh, they removed the torch here. Speedrunners are sometimes able to just like jump off this torch. Now we just gotta figure out the new 2 3 1 order. We should be good to go. I'm gonna guess 1 3 2. First try, baby! Oh no. I didn't know they I didn't know that that was how they did it. Okay. One three two. It's not gonna be one two three. If it's if it's one two three, I'm gonna be mad. I guess three one two. I don't think it'll be three I don't think it'll be one three I don't think it'll be one two three or three two one. If it's either of those, I'm I'm gonna like legitimately be upset. So let's try three one two. Okay, cool. How did you know our secret? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you! In order to administer the coup de grace to, to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned! Oh, Queenie, sorry about that! You ever gotten 
been so irritated that you committed treason against a, against a, a monarch that you were loyal to? We all have those days. Okay. Let's see if I can one cycle Goma. I always fuck it up. Just any treason, but the secret to murder treason. This was this must have been like one of the first ever video games where it's like, oh, you have to like look up and see the thing on the ceiling. The Scarecrow song required at some point. It wouldn't surprise me if it is. Okay, that's going on. Shame they didn't change the bosses. I hope you guys didn't blink. I think Goma has like 10 health. And uh, Power Crouch Stab with Deku, Deku Stick Jump Slash is four. So, four, eight, and then third hit. Takes three hits. She sh certainly should have blinked, I agree. <laughs> All right. Well, this is just going to be regular Ocarina of Time for a little while. Well done, Link. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Sephiroth. He's got the fire and all that. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm Excuse me. that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Meru, the goddess of wisdom. And Fable, the goddess of courage. This is like a relatively cool creation myth, though. I actually think it's... it's neat. Like, the Hyrule mythology is pretty cool. Din. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Specifically, Gerudo Canyon. Nehru. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Fable, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The 
three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Man, it's a shame that we're not playing uh, Skyward Sword for Smash to Pieces, because I don't know... If, I can't remember if Joe's ever played it, and I kind of want to just watch him lose his mind at Fi. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triangles. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There. Oh, excuse me. I evidently I didn't sleep well last night. There, thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. That stone, the stone that man wanted so much that he cursed the cat, that he cast the curse on me. And then we stole the time stone from uh, from this timeline. Thus, uh, tossing it into chaos. The Kokiri's Emerald, the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon me, Link. Oh, hell, I should have had I should have had a coffee before stream. For now on, I should just have a coffee before every stream. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Dude, I do it. I have like four cooks midstream. I, I used to kind of do that, and then my teeth got really messed up. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye. Great Deku Tree. So unfortunately, since we can't save warp, we have we actually have to go talk to Mido. Normally, I save warp here so that we don't have to talk to Mido, but we have to talk to Mido. Hey Link, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree? Did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Oh, wow, fairy boy, did you just commit tree murder? Mido has like well, I was gonna say that he has like no sense of cause and effect but I think the cause and effect is pretty clear I went in I came out no more Deku tree point A to point B is a little obvious there so I mean It's like the haunted house in The Simpsons. I would rather die than talk to Link. Oh, you're leaving. Oh, we didn't talk to her at all. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you're different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. And then someday, after we fish a new one out of the river, we'll never use this one again. 
You received the Fairy Ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and use C to start playing it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to any of the C buttons and then use that C to start playing it. You can play different notes with A and the 4C. Press B to quit playing or start your song over again. It's weird how everyone I know called her Saria instead of rhyming it with Maria. Well, I always thought of... So, I always thought of it in terms of... No, so, when I was a kid, I actually did think it was Saria. But... Now, my brain has started to translate everything into the katakana that all of these were ri originally written in. In which case, it would definitely be Saria. When you play my ocarina, I hope you'll think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Like, once you start to learn, like, just a little bit about the Japanese language, it's pretty clear where some of the names in Zelda come from. <laughs> and I've kind of used that as a pronunciation guide. I guess I don't really know how Feyror would be pronounced in, with Katakana. I would have to check that. But like a lot of a lot of names in this game, like Hyrule is at least spelled a little differently than how it would be Romanized from the Katakana. But like Kokiri, Gerudo, Goron, Saria, those are those are all exactly as they would show up in a Romanized Katakana. <laughs> Link, look up here. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and L or R to find the map. On the map screen, you'll also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Yes. Uh, Furaru. So, DVD Smith, you're right. You can still do Fey though. Fey would be EI. So Faror is right, I guess. All right then, I'll see you around. <laughs> We're just all gonna have to live with that. <laughs> I don't really think it was a fat. Well, if it was Feyror, then it could be E and I. It's a lot harder on a different analog stick. My owl voice, that was terrible. I, th I think that was, that was not good. Well, Fi would be F-A-I when Romanized. I do like how if you don't know ways to go faster, then uh, the day-night cycle has you just barely not reaching uh, Hyrule Castle before nightfall. <laughs> Certainly not after Skyward Sword's reception. This Skyward Sword is well received. It got like a lot of a lot of scores in the nineties. Imagine if they changed the, sh the shooting gallery in uh, in Master Quest. Looks like they didn't.
You could say all Zelda games are a 10, of, a 10 out of 10, but there is Phantom Hourglass. I think we can all agree on that one. Spirit Tracks there now. That one was good. Can't believe I fucked up on the red rupees. We have all things to mess up. Those are supposed to be easy. I like Phantom Hourglass more than, more than Spirit Tracks. I just can't relate to that. I've never even finished Phantom Hourglass. No! Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Phantom Hourglass didn't have the Imprisoned. The Imprisoned is not, does not single-handedly make that a bad game. Like, you fight it three times. Total. Like, is it fun? No. But it's collectively, like, maybe 30 minutes of a 20-hour game. No, come on. Like, Pokemon- new Pokemon Snap's tutorials take longer than the imprisoned fights. There we go, finally. God, that's what's there. I thought we were about to get a piece of heart. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Add a few 20s to that. I'm not, what do you mean? It's not like a 40 hour game or anything. We gotta get Richard the dog back. Is it officially night now? You ready for the hottest take? Skyward Sword's better than Wind Waker. Like, Wind Waker's dungeons are just bad. So I don't I don't even know if it's if the problem is that it's unfinished because the thing is that the dungeons the dungeons themselves don't feel unfinished they just feel kind of bad like they're all mostly straight lines and they're just kind of dull I do not remember Skyward Sword being 40 hours long Hey, Link, this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. <laughs> That's not what an owl even remotely sounds like. On this ground, time flows normally. But, oh, thank God I can skip all that. The problem is that, like, the dungeons in Wind Waker are mostly just, like, here's a room. Fight some enemies, solve a really mundane puzzle, go to the next room. Like, that's... it's just kind of that over and over and over. Hey, your clothes! They're different! You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest! My name is Malon. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk and he hasn't come back yet. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. 
What a thing for an adult to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. I, I hate reading Tiki as out loud. It's, it's... Nah. See, DVD Smith, you say that, but Majora's Mask has my favorite dungeons in the franchise. Like, I don't, I like, I don't put up with the dungeons for the sake of the overworld in Majora's Mask. They're both incredible. And that's why I, I hold Zelda games to these, like, higher standards where I want the dungeons to be as good as the overworld. Because it, it can be done, and it has been done. Um, really, the only... And, and Wind Waker, honestly, the overworld's not that good either. Wind Waker's only real strengths are in its graphics and its story, which I think are both incredible. I love Wind Waker's art style, uh, and I, I, I actually, I actually think the Wii U version ruined the art style. I, I, I really, really hate the graphical changes in Wind, in Wind Waker HD uh, because the original art style was more or less perfect. And Wind Waker HD looks like Nintendo hired that man. Uh, and the um, the story is a stronger story than most Zelda games tell. It doesn't go as hard into its narrative as Majora's Mask does. It's it's light on story in the same way that Ocarina of Time is light on story, but it's still a really good story. And that's kind of the only things that I like about it. Like, like, I, and I count the characters and, like, world building in part of the story, but, like, I don't really think Wind Waker has a good overworld. I don't think that it has good dungeons, so it's just kind of weak. Even combat, like, I, don't, I can't think of a single thing in the game that does more than a quarter heart of damage. Wind Waker is a much more interesting speedrun game than it is a regular Zelda game. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malon was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Malon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. There's like two un uninhabited islands with a chest that contains 20 rupees. What more do you want? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, it's so... It's this... Wind Waker's overworld is so compartmentalized into these islands. The treasure hunt stuff is probably a, a, an interesting part of the game that I've never really... Engaged with. I should try to engage with the with the treasure hunting more in when, when we get there for Smash Pieces. Because that's something that I've never really done and it would probably make it more interesting. Because I've always thought of the overworld in terms of like the boring maps. Whereas but maybe following the treasure maps to find uh, underwater treasure would would be good. I've tried to complete the photo gallery. But it's, it, it just, it, the fact that you, like, you have to do the whole, like, wait 24 hours thing. And on GameCube, when, I think you only had three photographs on GameCube, it was just untenable on that. So, uh. This castle is like the dumbest guards in the world. I think Triforce Hunt gets more shit than it deserves, to be honest. Uh, actually, I take that back. The needing, like, what is it, like, 3,000 rupees to do it? That's kind of bullshit. It deserves that shit, <laughs> but I think the actual act of finding the Triforce pieces is good. Puppet Ganon doesn't need to be carried through to, to New Game Plus, just regular Ganon. Maybe they're just not paid enough to care, that's a mood. Ah! 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 
I'm also not paid enough to care. I think it's just Ganon. Because Puppet Ganon, you can definitely turn around. I think Ganondorf is the only thing that you have to... Uh, I guess you get the king for free, but... I don't know, you get the king with Zelda, don't you? I don't remember. Harley uses co contractors as guards. What's with, like, this Greek statue here? Who was I watching play this game for the first time recently? Besides DB Geek. Because I were... Maybe it was DB Geek. Maybe. Uh, hey. Something that not a lot of people know about. Everyone knows about Mario, but do you know about this? You can get 20 rupees here. Triforce Heroes is overrated. I've never heard anyone say anything about Triforce Heroes. And then, if you shoot this window, this guy bombs you. I think that's my favorite. That's, like, utterly ridiculous. No, you can't you, you can't get Ganon at the Forsaken Fortress, because anytime you can see him, it triggers a cutscene. the guards. Oh, what's that? Is that... a fairy? Then are you... are you from the forest? Then... then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and, sto and shining stone. Our, well, our friend who streamed it on Discord didn't get this far. He didn't even get out of- he didn't even get to the Deku Tree. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. Yeah, see, that's the thing for, for like, for Triforce Heroes to be overrated, like, people, like, it needs, it needs to be talked about at all. The only people I've ever really heard talk about it are, like, no one. No, I, no one. I was about to say Neil, but even Neil doesn't really defend it. Neil def defends Federation Force, but he's never talked about Triforce Heroes. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. This is this is like such a weird dialogue exchange. Like, even taking into account that she trusts Link inherently as the hero of Hyrule because he has the Kokiri Emerald, like, you're just gonna lead with this? I feel like there's some exposition you're skipping here, right? Am I the only one that feels that way? The legend goes like this. And you know what? You know what's the only, like, original, original game that Grezzo's developed? Ever Oasis. And no one's played that. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. Grezzo's curse is just, like, games that no one ends up playing that are maybe good. Power to grant the wish of one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told.
So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. I doubt that Grezzo has just one team, though. Like, I think I think it's it's silly to think that Grezzo is only working on one game at a time. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. Oh, oh, this is skippable. I didn't even know. Well, the problem with the the, the problem with saying that Ever Oasis suffered. Oh god, this isn't skippable. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream. The dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes. The thing about it is that Ever Oasis also probably isn't a game that could have come out on Switch because HD development costs a lot more money. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. The leader of the bunch. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No. The entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. I can't believe Hyrule hired that man. <laughs> Thank you. I... I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. -na -na. This letter is Princess Zelda's autograph. That's... Not what I would phrase that as, it's more of a signature for a legal document, but if you want to call it an autograph and show it to your friends, then I guess you could do that. Okay, can we sneak around Impa? I kind of want- no, we cannot. I was kind of wondering what would happen, but... I am Impa of the Sheikas. Uh, uh Sheikas, I'm sorry, I was- it reads like it's supposed to be Sheikah's, but it's Sheikah's now. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one who would who, to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Uh, some, something funny happens if you show the Keaton mask to the Kakariko of Gar, then refuse to give it to him. Interesting. I wonder... If we can use a torch to get to open the uh, the way to the Lost Woods in Goron City, because since we can't save warp, it's gonna take forever to get back to get from the city to the. Uh... Uh, I guess we should go see Saria now, shouldn't we? Because it'll be faster. 
I hate not being able to save warp. I forget, do I need to... Do I need to go to Kanakargo Village before going back to Saria? I probably do, don't I? No, I can save. It's just on on Master Quest, save warping takes forever. So it's really not worth doing it. But, like, getting back to the forest at this part without save warping is really irritating. Because I have been saving. Because I don't think it was when I tried to save that it crashed. I think it was just when I opened the pause screen. Which, I'm gonna have to do that anyway, so there's really no way to avoid that. But here's the thing, can I open the shortcut? We don't know if we can. Yeah, it sends you straight back to the forest. Because I, I don't know if I can open the, uh... No, you can't, you can't get, you don't get the Goron bracelet until after you play Saria's song for Darunia. So you have to go to the forest before you can, before you can get the Goron bracelet. What I'm wondering is, can you get a torch up to set the, to set off those bombs with fire before the torch runs out? I kind of want to try, but if I do and we can't, then we have to walk all the way back to the forest from Kakar from Goron City, which would not be fun. While we're here, I guess we'll do the chickens. Might as well. We're probably not. We're probably not going to get to uh, Dango's Cavern tonight. <laughs> That'd be really funny if like the majority of this stream is just regular Ocarina of Time. And then we had like a single, <laughs> like a like 20 minutes of the Deku Tree. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Now uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. Uh, no, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. It's really hard to like read this dialogue out loud when it's so slow. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> well, if someone's seeing official correspondence from Zelda, like, on any regular basis, then I can kind of see him recognizing it. Who was I watching recently that I had to, like, give a hint on where to find chickens? My friend that was streaming it over Discord didn't get out of the Deku Tree. Really confused. Ah! 
permanent violet. I don't think I've ever seen them. Very confused. Ooh, completely unspoiled. Nice. Although, to be fair, Sheik is pretty much the only thing to spoil. Uh, I, guess, I guess if you somehow don't know about the about Adult Link, but the title kind of implies that there's going to be time travel, so it's not that big a deal, I think. Well, let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. That's the pro strat there. Man, these chickens take forever. <laughs> Oh, I actually learned a new trick since last year that I can show you guys. Not yet, though. We'll get these chickens in first. Because I've already started the chicken quest, and I don't have to start it over. Obviously, you just saw me do that trick with uh, getting the piece of heart from the guy early. It's made of all the characters from Twilight and Adult. That, that is interesting, but that's, not, that's also not really something that you're likely to get spoiled for. Like, in terms of stuff that you're actually probably, like, liable to be spoiled for, there's very little. I wish... I wish that Nintendo did more with Sheik in the actual Zelda franchise. Like, Sheik's been in Smash Brothers and Hyrule Warriors and all, and that's, that's well and good. But... The idea of Sheik as this alter ego to the princess that she uses... To be, to, like, be active in a more clandestine way... Is just a really interesting one. And I know I'm, like, asking Zelda games to have a real story, and that's just... Not gonna happen, but... It's a good idea, and I really wish we could see Zelda in more active roles. My biggest fear in the world is that, like, 20 minutes into Breath of the Wild 2, Zelda's gonna get kidnapped or cursed or sealed away or whatever, and I just... Like, I just want her to be around. I want her to have the chance to do something. You know, like, it doesn't have to be Sheik specifically, but I want Zelda to have a more active role. That's the problem. So, like, what... Okay. Here's, here's my ridiculous, crazy conspiracy theory. So, when Breath of the Wild was first announced, 2014, uh, just as The Legend of Zelda on Wii U, there was this whole thing of, like, Link looked kind of feminine in the trailer, so people were like, oh, is, is, are we gonna have a, f a female version of Link for this? And that, obviously that didn't end up happening, but Aonuma actually commented on that, and was like, you know, we're, we're sorry if you, if, if, if you were, if, if you, if, like, you felt misled, uh, we, and we, we did not realize that, uh, that people wanted something like this, or I forget exactly what he said, but he commented on the fact that people were getting excited that they thought that it would be a female Link. So, I'm thinking, like, what if, what if in Breath of the Wild 2, you choose to play as either Link or Zelda, and whichever one you don't choose is, like, incapacitated somehow at the start of the game? Like, I th feel like that would be really cool, and like, they're, they're in this, like, the trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 sets them up as, as being, like, on this, on this adventure together. And I can't imagine a Zelda game working where you have a, a regular human companion like that following you at all times. That's why your companion is always some magical thing that can quietly disappear while you're off doing something else. And I, I, so I do not see Breath of the Wild 2 
being about Link and Zelda traveling together. Because I don't think that... I don't think that the gameplay allows for that. But... The... Um... But I, I, I also just... I think it would be so boring if it just opens and 20 minutes in, there's some reason to just shove Zelda into a locker and never think of her again. I think that would be boring. It, or it could also be just like, what if Bait and Switch... Breath of the Wild 2 is just about Zelda. That'd be really cool. Link, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Anyway, here's that trick I was talking about. So I learned this pretty recently. So, this is a little difficult. Because you, you gotta, like, do this whole maneuvering thing. I can't remember if here you need to throw the chicken or you can just jump. Let's try jumping first. But here, here, my guy. We need you out of the way. Okay, jumping does work. But I'm an idiot and jumped off. So I guess we're gonna get back up. A little like Gandalf and the Hobbit. I must leave now because reasons. I mean, that's also unfortunately likely. So you can just do this. Uh, and then you got this piece of heart. Boom. Early piece of heart. That was cool. You guys think that was cool? I liked it. Let's get the sun song while we're here. Uh, so we just gotta sit and wait for it to be nighttime. Brock out of an early Pokemon episode by saying I have to do some stuff. Which one was that? Weird audio. Uh, please let me know if there's something up with the audio. Cerulean Gym episode. Maybe? I don't remember. I guess I was thinking about the one... There was one that was about, like, Pokemon breeding or something, and I think he... Like, that was why he was kind of written out. I don't know. I don't remember early Pokemon anime. Ben keeps trying to push me into, uh... Ben, uh, Joe's roommate, keeps trying... Keeps, uh, saying that he's gonna rewatch Indigo sometime soon. And, like, I'm gonna be a dumbass and watch with him. I'm also vaguely interested in the the current running Pokemon anime. Yeah! Slightly high pitched or something. Yeah, so that that happens to me sometimes. You just gotta refresh the page. That happens pretty often. A part of me is also just like, I don't know if I really care to watch more of. Uh, I don't, I don't think I care to watch <laughs> Pokemon Indigo League. It's just, there's been so many times in my life where I've, like, gone back and watched that. And it's like, do I really need to add another one? Uh, like... When I, there's so many other anime I could be watching. I gotta be honest, I don't think we're getting Breath of the Wild 2 at E3. Um... I, I think that in a regular year, Breath of the Wild 2 would be kind of a toss-up for this year. In a COVID year, absolutely not. I don't I don't think it's happening. If I'm gonna now if I'm gonna if I'm gonna rewatch Pokemon, I should probably rewatch 
Johto. Because I've never really gone back and rewatched Johto. And I've never finished Hoenn. Hoenn's where I dropped off as a kid. It was specifically an episode with Shiftry. Uh, he did say that, I guess, didn't he? In fairness, is there really anything to remember about Orange Islands? <laughs> anything, like, worth remembering? Don't say Tracy. He's not worth remembering. Tracy's not real. He can't hurt me. Okay, I'll give you the GS ball, just because that's, that's a really funny piece of trivia. Professor Ivy's barely in it. She's in, like, one episode. Yeah, so remember that one episode, and then don't watch the rest. <laughs> I'm not gonna give an entire season credit for a single episode. I'm like, oh, every now and then, maybe she gets mentioned, and then she'll show up in the last episode to be like, good job. Here's your friend back. Is is uh, Takami from Persona Five the 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 Zoomers Professor Ivy? That's not a sentence I think anyone wanted me to say. No, because Professor Ivy wouldn't reject you. Got some bad news for you. getting the sung song at like a meaningfully early time. It's an episode where Meowth was found by a cult who worshipped him as a god. It sounds familiar. What does it say about the Composer Brothers that their magnum opus is six notes long? I mean, on the one hand, yeah, but it, it literally has the power to move the heavens. So... Like, it literally moved the sun. Oh my god. I could use the sun song to freeze them, but I honestly think, like, the animation of playing the sun song would take longer. Yeah, well, um... And all of the, uh... All of the child songs are just another song. I think. Two measures of the same three notes, yeah. But again, literally moves heaven and earth, so. Alright, do we go to Goron City and see if we can, if we can trick our way through the, uh, the shortcut, or do we just save time and go right to the Lost Woods?
I feel I feel like it I feel like going to Goron City first. We're not gonna be able to open the um the thing, but I want to try. I want to try. I think we've got to try. We've got to try. Now that it's out there in the world, we've got to try. We can reject the Keaton Guard later because I don't really want to do any of the ma of the mask side quests until we can do the bunny hood. Because there's really no point in doing the mask side quest now. Unless, like, we really want to go do the, the Deku here. Oh, man. I really want to do the Dongo's Cavern tonight so that, like, we have something substantial on stream. But, man, I'm tired. And I started late, too. It's weird thinking of how- thinking that, like, I got through the entire child section on the first Smash Pieces stream, didn't I? That was kind of crazy. How did I pull that off? <laughs> Did I do the entire child section on the on the first stream? Well, yeah, but still, even then, it still feels like a lot. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? By his Kildai? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? And ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Oh well. Darunia is a Yakuza chief. Oh, uh, there's no way that we'll be able to do this. Absolutely zero percent chance. We gotta try. We gotta try. I don't know why it makes me spin around there. I don't think we can get upstairs and everything in time. Okay, well, not if I get caught on the wall, especially. It may be. It might be doable. Okay, got caught on the wall. Can you not light the torches? I don't think you can. Oh, you can. Is it, wait, is this how you're supposed to do it? Is, wait, is this what you're expected to do? That might be what you're expected to do. Because now it's a lot less bullshit that we have to go back. And you first see Kabora Gabora 
right here and not earlier because they can't guarantee that you'll see him in the first area. could do Ocarina Memory Game, but I won't. Because of that. I hate the Ocarina Memory Game, we're not doing it. You're great, you scored three perfect bullseyes. Listen to the music. You ain't shit, Wolfos. Moblins also ain't shit, they're just irritating. If they're not actually a threat, you'll never die to a moblin in the Sacred Forest Meadow. They're just annoying. Because they make you lose a lot of time. Like speed runs and challenge runs and those kind of things have like really ruined what I perceive as a threat in a video game. Because if it like if it doesn't actually have a chance of killing me, I'm never remotely scared of it, unless it's gonna be something cheap like a jump scare. been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. I've read ahead. And I think that you might be on to something. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Sure. Okay. Try to follow along with the melody I'll play. Are you ready? And it's just the background music for where we got the song. Maybe I shouldn't try to do Dodongo's Cavern tonight. Because I'm thinking, when I say that we can probably do it, I'm thinking in terms of like regular Dodongo's Cavern that I know my way around instinctively. But if it's gonna take, if it's gonna potentially take an hour to do Dodongo's Cavern, I don't think I have an hour plus however long it takes to get there in me for tonight. So we'll probably get to Dodongo's Cavern and open the next time we play on that. And there will be a next time. I plan on finishing Master Quest, but I don't think we can. I don't think we'll do Dodongo's Cavern tonight. And now we know. Always get coffee before stream. That's just good practice. We'll 
heal. I said we'll heal. Oh, that's bullshit right there. We'll probably do the mask trading quest after Jabu Jabu. I've heard about the cows in Jabu Jabu. I do know about that, unfortunately. Much as I, I yearn not to know. I pretend not to see it, but I do. Oh, why do you talk to me on the way out? Thank you for stopping by. Get some sleep as much as I need it. God bless. Okay. So... Go back to Goron City, maybe get one or two pieces of heart. And then we begin. Or, well, then we end. More accurately. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is faster. Uh, I guess we might as well get the piece of heart from the Saria Song Skull Kid while we're here, shouldn't we? This kind of makes sense. It's an easy one, so we might as well. Yes, I know the Ocarina of Time. I know the Ocarina Memory Game is right there. I'm not doing it. I hate the Ocarina Memory Game. You can't make me. Uh, this is the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask, in case you don't know. Like, canonically, at the end of Majora's Mask, he's like, Oh, you're the fairy boy that taught me a song. In the forest. Mm, I have the big tired. Actually, maybe, maybe since I have the big tired, maybe now is the time to finish. I think we should, I think we should call it now, because I don't know how much longer I can go. And this is a good place to start, a fun cutscene to start it on, and probably not very, one that's very fun to like voice act in my state. So everyone, let's look ahead to the week to come. Oh, it's uh, is this, uh, still got still got the spot for for uh, Joe's webcam there, don't we? Let's just uh, let's just make that disappear for a second there. Okay. Just uh, make that go away. So tomorrow is the versus stream for Dr. Mario 64. Me versus Joe. I expect it will be like 20 minutes long because neither of us like that game and there's not really a lot to explore in it, so. Probably gonna be a short one, if I'm being honest. Uh, and then Friday and Saturday we are off until Sunday when Joe returns to Mineral Town to, for like the ninth week in a row, desperately try to get this girl to fall in love with him because he doesn't know how to take no for a hand. He doesn't know how to take it. Show us all his dog. Yes, that's that is true. So that's the stream for for the next week. So make sure you stick around for those. They're gonna be good. In the meantime, we're gonna call it here. So everyone, thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you had a very good time. But that is where we are going to call it for the night. So, why isn't the outro music playing? Don't know what that's about. Uh, let's make the music play. Ah, that's why it's not playing. There we go. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you all had a wonderful time, but we're gonna call it there. So, Dr. Mario tomorrow, 
Harvest Moon on Sunday. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night.